Balanced debate we're joined by Matt Schlapp, a former White House political director under President George W. Bush, and Joe Sestek, a former Democratic congressman from Pennsylvania. Joe, of course, the first three star admiral who was elected to Congress. Joe and Matt, welcome. Uh, good Matt, to be with you, good. Let me start with you, Matt. Uh, I mean, look, 8.1 percent with the, the alleged unemployment rate. Uh, how does that affect the race? Well, presidents that have had unemployment rates this high have not gotten reelected. This is 39 straight months with the unemployment rate over 8 percent, and it, it belies what President Obama and his economic team said would happen if we passed the $800 billion stimulus, which is that unemployment would be under 6. So the fact that the, uh, the economy is front and center in this election and that the unemployment rate is remaining sluggishly high is very bad news for President Obama's reelect. Joe, and Matt says he can't get reelected with that number. Well, President Obama has the unemployment rate at 8.1 percent. That's almost what Matt and President Bush handed over to him at 7.8 percent unemployment. And we had three million jobs being flowing out the hole that had been on our United States uh, ship of state. We had been torpedoed, and we had to put caulking in that and stop the outflow of the unemployed that the three million that we had inherited, so to speak, from Mr. Bush. The key is this, however. What to do now? It's about the fact that we have had 100,000 less new startups of small businesses that create 80 percent of all new jobs since March of 2007, two years before the president took office. What we have to do is give them access to capital so they can start creating those new jobs. And we have corporations sitting on $2 trillion of cash. Our 25 biggest banks have $4 trillion of cash. $6 trillion not being invested. Let them have zero capital gains tax if they invest in a startup, a small business, not a corporation, because small businesses create 80 percent of all new jobs. That's what the president should announce this week. That's for the growth of our economy. Now that we stop the damage that had been occur that had occurred with this recession that the president inherited. Yeah, but Matt, do you think that, that that'll be enough? I mean, look, the banks, as Joe said, they're sitting on all this cash these corporations have because they're afraid about the economy. I think Joe should run for office again. I like that uh, zero capital <laughs> gains rate. He shouldn't discriminate on who gets it. But what President Obama has done, uh, I I instead of taking that route, he has got this huge problem with this tax mageddon that's coming at the end of the year. Uh, American investors don't know what their tax rates are going to be. Individuals have stopped investing in the stock market. We had this great democratization of the stock market 10 years ago where two-thirds of Americans own stock in companies, and that's dropping. People are hoarding cash. The cash that they have, they want it to be safe. They're not making investments because they don't know the regulatory structure, they don't know the tax structure, and they're scared to death that a second Obama turn uh, term in office is going to mean more economic devastation. And if there was more stability, I mean, look, they're, they're going to cut the. Uh, I mean, their tax rates are going up at the end of the end of the year. What do they do about that? Yeah, well, I think here's this is what, important. Yeah, Matt, go ahead. I, I, well, here's I'm what sorry. President Obama needs to do, and he doesn't take advice from me. I understand, but he ought to sit down with Speaker John Boehner, who's a very reasonable man, and they ought to come up with some economic certainty for these investors Congressman Sestak's talking about so that people know what their tax rates will be. They'll invest in jobs in this country, and that'll turn this economy around, which is good for Democrats and Republicans alike. All right, Joe. Yeah, I think Matt has a very good point. Certainty is what Wall Street is asking for. And I think small businesses are, whether it's certainty on business regulation or certainty on immigration or certainty on alternative energy. Certainty is what the markets want. Now, that said, what we also have to recognize is that what has happened is that in 2000, we used to have $79 billion of private venture capital, capital put into our markets. The day that Mr. Bush left office, we got, it was down to $29 billion. So while we want certainty, they also want to know that are we investing in companies here in America that are actually going to give us an investment and Americans on a whole want to know, are we actually going to have our wages increase, which they haven't done over the last 10 years? And so the president understands very well, it isn't just about giving corporations tax cuts, because small businesses in which private venture capitalists like to invest are the ones that create it. This president also has cut taxes, contrary to what Matt has said, rather than increase taxes. So I think the debate is, do you want to go back to some of the days where I think Mr. Bush did some good things, but on the whole, he handed us a terrible recession. But the, but the, taxes, the, taxes, the, taxes, the, taxes, the taxes that President Obama cut 
was the extension of the Bush tax cuts. So you can't have it both ways. He essentially took the Bush tax cuts and extended them. And then when the economy looked like it was coming out of this deep and terrible recession, he tried to pass cap and trade, which is a huge energy tax, and did nationalize health care, which has, which has billions of dollars of tax increases in it. So it's very unfair to say that President Obama but, no, has but, done but what he said he's done. But, Matt, with all due respect, it is an unfair to small business. Remember what the president did for small business with the majority of Americans' work. What he said is you can cut, you can write off all your expenses in one year instead of rating five years. Your capital expenditures, you can double what you can write off. Boy, he helps small businesses, and that's where right, Americans Joe, that, work and where they own that'll have to uh, be, live. That'll have to be the last word. Some people think, you know, the unemployment rate really is 14.5% because so that's many right. people are just giving up. It's not 8.1%.